Hi, I'm Natalie. I'm a third year history student at Fitzwilliam College in Cambridge and I'm going to show you a day in my life. So I'm the sort of person that wakes up quite early in the morning. On this day it's just before 7am. I'm always really hungry first thing in the morning so the first thing I'll do is go to the kitchen and make myself some breakfast. Usually I'll have a Weetabix and some toast. I'll eat breakfast in my room while checking social media and usually doing the day's wordle. I like to shower and get dressed quite early so I can start work. I also do a bit of makeup just to get ready for the day. Then it's back to the kitchen to get myself some water. I try and drink two litres of water throughout the day because I get headaches if I don't stay hydrated. I'll then open my curtains and sit on my window seat to do some admin and easy jobs before I actually start work for the day. I like to have a bit of a change of scene and don't always work on my desk. Then when it's time to start work, I'll move to my desk. On this day, I had to pick an essay title, and make myself a reading list and start writing notes based on the reading that I was doing. As I said, I'm a history student, so reading is a big part of what I do um, and takes up quite a lot of my time. Then for another change of scene, I met some friends in the college cafe and did a little bit more work there. Then at about 11.30am I went to get my bike from outside college and I cycled into town. From Fitzwilliam the cycle into town is about 10 minutes. On this tray, I treated myself to a Greek savlaki wrap for lunch, which was really tasty. The market in Cambridge has so many great food places to try, so I like to have um, a try of one of those about once a week, but a lot of the days I'll make food at home. Then I went to study in Waterstones, which is one of my favourite spots to study in Cambridge. I carried on with reading and I had some time before my supervision to just get some work done. About an hour before my supervision, my supervisor normally sends me some essay feedback, which I read through and think of some questions to ask during the supervision. I often listen to music while studying. Today I was listening to the new Bastille album.
then to break up the work, I did some editing for Inside Uni. So the interviews that you see on the website, um, me and the content team will do some editing of them to make sure the grammar and the spelling is right and then publish them on the site for you. Then at about half past three, it was time to walk to my supervision. I walked down King's Parade past King's, St. Catharines and Corpus Christi Colleges to my supervision, which takes place at Peterhouse. Supervisions are a like small group teaching uh, in In the supervision, we discussed my essay that I'd written that week and some questions that I had about the topic. It was really helpful. I learned quite a lot from supervisions. I then walked back to where I left my bike in the centre of town and cycled back to college. I wasn't really hungry yet because the Greek grab for lunch had filled me up so I edited some graphics for some upcoming events I was running for Student Minds Cambridge which I'm the president of this year. It's a Cambridge student society which focuses on mental health and helping students to relax and take a break during term time. Then a bit later in the evening when I got hungry I made sausages and mash. I ate this in front of an episode of How I Met Your Mother. After dinner, I like to rewind with something like a face mask and I called a friend from home. I then did a little bit more work. Um, I often spend time with my boyfriend in the evening, but he was away this week, so I was catching up on some work that I had left over. And then finally, I got rid of a bed, did a little bit of reading, and then I aimed to turn the lights off by about 11 p.m. So that's a normal day in my life. I hope it was useful to see what a Cambridge history student gets up to. This is quite a heavy work day for me and I don't always do this much work in a day, but I did get quite a lot of reading done, which meant I could afford to take some time off later in the week. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to check out the Inside Uni website and our social media for more information.